Oh boy! I got a surprise for you! We're doing an LP today! That's right! Right now! Welcome back everybody to Let's Play the MJ, your host MJ406. And I'm going back to a GameCube game from early in the GameCube era. You guys ready for this? I bet nobody saw this coming at all. Myself included. In the infinitely expanding universe. Oh, yes, this space is where energy unfathomable to humankind is overflowing. And when the stars align and in the search for this unknown energy, there are infinite mysteries in the universe. Many researchers have challenged outer space. Did they the win? The time is cosmic year 2000X. Oh wow, that's really generic. Oh, what the heck? The this... bomb research laboratory led by Professor Ein. Oh, has succeeded in mining bomb elements with this secret energy. Bomb elements, huh? I see how it is. Oh, the peaceful utilization of this strange power. A space freighter carrying bomb elements made up of six crystals hmm. has departed for Planet Bomber. Oh, that's a, that's a good name for a planet. However, disaster struck, right? Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, God! The evil Higgy Higgy bandits scheming for domination. Higgy Higgy sent a hired gun to seize the bomb elements. Jeez, those guns have become sentient these days, haven't they? And so, the great battle for the bomb elements begins. That's what I'm hearing. So on to Planet Bomber you go. Welcome everybody to my next LP, which will be running Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I bet nobody saw this coming, again. I'm doing it out of the blue! Welcome to Power Man Generation. An early GameCube title that made by Hudson Soft before they went, you know, down. The reason I decided to start this game now? Well, you may not be able to guess, but uh I'm finally done with college. Woohoo! Bomber Man Generation! So I decided to do another extra LP running alongside my others to celebrate. Now, I've always wanted to do this game for a while. I heard a lot of people say it's not that great, but no, I like it. So, you know, screw off. The data save in this game is automatically done during gameplay. If he's not touched a memory card or power during gameplay, screw you. I'll touch the power all I want. Oh, nice, it's free. So, yes, I'm finally done with my school stuff. Now, I decided to do this game in celebration. I actually got this game when I graduated from fourth grade. <laughs> so, that's graduation history of me, too. I'm getting a call. Ah, there you are. Bomberman, it's me, Professor Ein. Oh, yeah, this game is full-out voice acting. You may have already heard. The space freighter, which was on its way to Planet Bomber, carrying bomb elements with the secret of the unknown energy. Yes, what happened? Has been attacked I didn't by see an it. Unknown entity and destroyed. But we heard of the Higigi bandits. The six bomb elements loaded on the freighter have been pulled in by the gravity of nearby planet Tentacles. Tentacles. By scattering them all over the planet. Oh, so one planet managed to make them go all over the we place. We have received information that our evil foe, the Higgy Higgy bandits, led by Mujo, Mujo? are making large-scale moves towards planet Tentacles. Jesus. It is clear that the Hickey Hickey Bandits are involved in the attack of the freighter. No shit. <sighs> if even one bomb element falls into their hands... What would happen? ...space will be as the Hickey Hickey Bandits please. That would be a terrible thing. Yeah. So that's a crime Here's syndicate. Plan, I get it. Man. Immediately go to Planet Tentacons. You must retrieve all six bomb elements before they do. You just assume I can do this because I'm named Bomberman? Really? We have also received more troubling news. What could that be? The Higgy Higgy Bandits are headed for Planet Tentacles with our rival, the Crush Bombers. Crush Bombers? I'm sure you already know to keep your guard up, Bomber Man. Yeah, yeah, I can keep my guard up, whatever. Okay. You may have an easy time. Yeah, I'm sure I will. But just to be on the safe side, I'll send Max, who's here right now. 
Max. I'm gonna do it my way. Oh God. Well, not helpful. Thanks. All right. We don't have time to waste. Why even Get bother? Immediately to Planet Tentacles. Good luck, Bomberman. Time to depart. I'd like to have a player two feature. We didn't go that far. I don't think that was the purpose, but whatever. All right, we're now on Planet Tentacles. With the first three worlds open to us from the start, but we should probably start for the very first one because that would be ridiculous. All right, so uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm also a Bomberman fan. I played a good bit of the Bomberman games in the N64, so I have a bit of history. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the one I have the most familiarity with. This one's also much different. It's, um, well, feels a lot more open world, I guess you could say. Yeah, you dropped two bombs. See, I can get upgrades for my bombs and use them accordingly if I find them. There we go, now I killed you. The purpose of Bomberman games is to blow shit up. There we go, got some speed. That's just what I was hoping for. As long as I blow stuff up, I can knock shit over, open things in the environment. You know, typical stuff for Bomberman. Man, they take forever to blow up, though. I'd hope they would just blow up sooner, but they don't. So yeah, Farman's gimmick is just he just drop, drop, drop bombs all the time. Do you expect anything different from him? I really do like this game though. To move the boulders. Yes. Make a big bomb. A big bomb. Lifting the bomb. Okay. It will grow into a big bomb. I had to actually look at the manual to figure this out. Back in the day, press A and then hold A again. It'll grow and then you can throw it. Then, ba boom! Big bombs are super useful. Woo! I feel like getting killed. Perhaps I would kill you if I could. Oh yeah, enemies also get dazed when you throw a big bomb at them. Enjoy a big bomb! I have to walk into it. Oh no, you ran away! Haha! <laughs> but you had to fully charge it. Jeez, I need firepower really badly. So this game is, uh, you know, the latest Bomberman game we saw since Bomberman Hero for the N64. At least by that time. A lot more Bomberman games came out after that, and honestly, I didn't really like them. I didn't like what they were doing, all the handheld Bombermans and all that. I much preferred the original stuff. Use the big bomb. Okay. Thanks, I couldn't figure that out. I've already been told to use it once before. Why do I have to use it again, huh? Stupid! Not like it'll do anything on that rock. Oh! It's easy about the puzzle elements. Why would I do that? Die. Ooh, a heart. My health is at the upper. Right, I see. Ooh. Yeah, I recover a whole big heart or one quarter heart. Yeah, the health works like that in this game. Well, some attacks will do more than one little heart of damage. You'll learn that as time goes on. Oh yeah, I can kick bombs too. I forgot about that. Which is useful. Woohoo! Blow up, you bastard. Gah. Oh, fire up. Good. I can now increase my explosion range. I don't think the big bomb increases in that, though. The big bomb will stay the same as usual. No, my bomb! That's so careless. I lost my bomb. Thank goodness. I actually needed that, because my bombs hurt me, too. 
You know, for a guy who's used to handling bombs, you'd think he'd be able to come up with a way to defend himself against his own bombs, but no. No such luck. He's stuck being dumb. Bye! Blow up the tree stumps so and nobody can go into it. Ah! Ah, there we go. Another thing to blow up. Too bad Bomberman can't swim, because, you know, he needs to handle his bombs in dry locations. Get out of here. Haha! <laughs> this is so much more fun. There we go. Oops. That's gonna hurt if I stand near it. How about this? Nope, too tall. This game is, I think I was trying to say, it was a little more open world than the other Bomberman games, but it it works, you know? I know a lot of people didn't like this one, apparently. I like this Bomberman game. I thought it was good. What the heck is this? Portal crap. Oh, right. Hello, fish. Anglerfish. You've had your first chair bomb and Laura and have become companions. Change screen to equip chair bombs by pressing the Z button. Equip chair bombs by pressing the X button and select them using the C stick. Yay! Chair bombs! There's magical creatures in this game that are like, um. Pokemon. We'll find out what I mean. They also give you special abilities on the field. And notice their stats. Like I said, they're like Pokemon. Greater height and distance of thrown bombs. Just throw by the control stick. No crap. I also select a bomb type, which I only have one type. But I'll take it. See, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. But I, can, I don't have to go to the menu to select them, thank God. Now I have a high bomb throw. Oh, you can only have one big bomb out at a time. I forgot about that, too. Okay, I just can't throw that in there. What now? These containers may hold carabomb feed. Carabomb feed. The feed and your carabomb will become stronger. Yeah, don't Gather say. Them Get all of them. Okay, fine. Gotta catch them all. I get the idea, P Professor Ein. See? When you collect that stuff, it increases their stats, respectively. Leveling them up is extremely easy. What? Use bomb kicks. Oh, right. Bomb kick, okay. There you go. I know how to do bomb kicks. You don't need to tell me what I'm doing right or wrong. That potion levels up everything. So, of course, I would use that for purposes of making my Pokemon like thing in jest. Oh yes, you also cannot kick big bombs. May as well go over all the mechanics now, since something happens at the beginning of the game. Understandably so, because you're learning how to play. Ha ha, you're trapped! See, once you're able to play a lot of bombs, you can start doing a lot of crap like that. You just start freaking trapping people. Ow! But you can also hurt yourself, like I did. Ow! Die! How dare you do that to me? I'll never forgive you for that. What? Why would you even allow this? That is a bull. Let's try this. That didn't help anything. What was the point of even having that there? Just to tell me I couldn't do it? Hate you. Oh, nothing came out of him? For real? Or is I just too far off screen? I don't need a bomb. Thank goodness you can get upgrades your bomber man and just make him go faster or have better explosions or throw more bombs. This is the most convenient one. Oh, for real? Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you stupid evil pterodactyl thing. Die. God, that was painful. 
The creatures of this world are a bit strange, but they're charming in a way, I suppose. Ah, no! It's log! It's log! Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. The logs are coming from there. And you can't walk off ledges at all. What? Cross over the bridge. I see that. Yeah, I can cross over the bridge. But why would I? Let's have some fun. The level design, though, isn't bad. For a game where all you do is just walk around and drop bombs, the level design is surprisingly deep. Honestly, it is a bit deep. I'm shocked. So with that, I knock you on your head, kick your ass. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm sure all my stats will reset if I die, so I gotta make sure I don't. What the? Oh god. Okay. Bomb merge. Sure. Let's see what it is. I forgot this game also has mini games. Always like bomb G jump. Okay. Do the bomb G jump from lofty tree by pressing the A button. Press the A button repeatedly to break the fall. You clear the game if you land on the log. If you miss, you miss if you land in the river. Good luck. Okay. Start. All right then. I just had to land on the log, right? There. Yeah, landed on it. Take that. Special. I got the ooh, the bomb merge item, water balloon. It bombs the new attributes of the portal. Bomb merging. Gee, I wish there was a portal I could do bomb merging, but oh, I have to deal with my freaking water balloon. <laughs> Fine then. Eat this, you bastard. Yeah. I do not like you creatures at all. Stop giving me only bombs, for God's sake. I want more than that. What a lonely world this is. For all I have are me and my bombs. Damn it, Max. Why couldn't you come with me? I could have used a companion. I better run. <laughs> I want a time place to go to. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, there's also hard expansions. There are spots in the game where you can increase your health. I'm pretty sure it's just for the level, though. I don't know. Well, I'll remember once we find that out. Get out of here. Actually, I think there are just spots in the game where you increase your health. Ow. Yeah, but big bombs do twice as much damage. I figured as much. Take this. Ow. Why did I do that? Still, who would have thought a hero would just be somebody who's a freaking bomb expert? Jeez. Next thing we're going to have an arsonist be a freaking hero. Like, come on, man. This is wrong. Yeah, here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yes. You're dead. Dead. I'm relearning my strategies to freaking take out everybody. Hmm. What's over here? Ow! Okay, can't do anything with this yet. This is a spinning log. These Pokemon things, the chair bombs, will actually become useful for puzzles later in the game. Oh, Jesus. Really, I have to deal with this thing now. Freaking wind creature. That's right. You ain't gonna last, buddy. Ow, ow. Teach me about big bomb throwing at the right time. Is that what you're trying to do? Because you succeeded. They have a little pause to the end of every level, I think. So once you do that, you're clear. Area clear. Yay, and I earned none of those lightning things at the bottom left. Damn it. Well, this game is a lot of backtracking, as you can tell. Because you need to 
You need to do stuff. The game lets you know when you find things, like a chair bomb that's located at a location, or a gift item, like the bomb merge thing I got. But we'll be dealing with that next time. So, welcome to my next LP, Bomberman Generation. This episode is kind of dull because I couldn't think of anything to talk about, but that's because we just started this game and I'm kind of confused. So, yeah, this game will be running Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, unlike the others, and this might be the only project I have that does this. I only did this because it was an occasion for me. I finally have more time to myself, and I'm getting a job. Hopefully soon. And I'll, in the meantime, I'll just be recording another game for fun. So there you go. I'll be doing things all, every single day of the week for a while. And don't worry, the uh, game I said would premiere is going to premiere tomorrow. So there you go. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you guys next time we go to Lake Mensor in Tantasia. Tantasia. Jeez. Sounds like a Disney world that involves tentacle porn. Ah! No, I don't even want to have that thought at all. Ever. No!